Hey everybody on LinkedIn, good afternoon from beautiful North Carolina, the day after Independence Day, July 5th. My name is Matt Crump, and I'm happy to be here with you today. Wanted to share just a couple of things. My crazy hair, that's all jacked up today. Sorry about that. All right, there we go, much better. All right, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about independence, and I made a post on LinkedIn, which is in the uh, comment section above, actually the post above, so where you see the post posted, uh, you'll have the link to today's uh, content, and I'd love for you to go over there and, and comment as well as here if you could, um, about independence. So I'm gonna share a few things with you in a short video that is what I shared in my post, and I'll be right back. Independence and the celebration of yours. The printing press, developed around 1440 in Mainz, Germany, by Johannes Gutenberg. His machine improved existing presses through the use of a mold. And by 1500, over 1,000 presses existed. And by 1600, over 2 million new books were already printed around the world. All right, here's another example of the 14th century, originally developed by China. It was mostly used by many mariners and travelers, replacing the use of stars as the method of travel. Most importantly, the compass brought people together. I mean, what could be better than that? Steel. Of the Bessemer process, a technique for creating steel in the 1850s transformed existing methods of steel making for over 4,000 years, right? And steel is what helped make the structures mostly around everywhere around the world. The electric light. It wasn't until Thomas Alva Edison and Joseph William Swan, they patented it in 1879. The first long lasting electric light bulb that changed the way evening looked around the world. Hashtag God's Got This, a book published by Matt Crump in 2018, sharing stories to help individuals discover and explore moments in their lives that reveal amazing treasure that God was showing about your personal life all along. 2019, The Flip, a 12-week journey about faith, legacy, identity, and purpose that launches a person from dream to reality and living a life of abundance. Folks, there's so much to independence. And although we celebrate Independence Day on the 4th of July here in the United States of America, I wanna take a moment to share some things about independence that have been happening for a long time and ways that you can experience it in your own life. If you'd like to talk more about abundance in your life, I would love to share information with you about how you can experience the abundance of life. So those are quite a few just examples of some things that have created independence for us and humanity across the world. Uh, really some, a whole lot more that's out there obviously in history and I in nowhere uh, no way intend to uh, compete with some of those things, bring it up uh, my book that I wrote and the flip. I will say, however, that it can be just as transformational for you in your own life. And there's ways that you can experience those things pretty simply. One, by of course getting the book, or two, uh, and or two, by joining me in, uh, in my coaching program called The Flip. Now I have changed some things. Uh, I've gone from an eight week system to a 12 week system. And I've done that because I'm so uh, relational and so interpersonal with people that I felt like it, it warranted more time, especially now because we have more time available on our plates and more time for you to get one-on-one uh, -on -one interaction from me with the assignments and the work that you'll get through uh, being a part of the flip. So anyway, I wanted to share a few ways that you can have some independence in your life. Of course, I'm not the only guy in the block. I'm not the only guy doing things. There's tons and tons of courses and opportunities out there. And, uh, you know, I just recommend that you, you jump in for something. Uh, it may not be me. It might be somebody else. Uh, I sure hope it could be. It might be life transforming. Um, but in the meantime, you know, you have plenty of opportunity right now to say, it's time for me now. Like the whole thing about, like, I'll wait to get to some point when XYZ happens or when we're no longer wearing masks or when when the virus is not around or when I have more money or when I have more time, really more time. I mean, when somebody says it's okay, when whatever. I mean, we got all kinds of reasons to say no, or rather excuses. Um, but then there's the opportunity just to do it. Like if you know you've got something passionately burning in your heart and you haven't done it yet, you haven't achieved your number one goal, man, what a great opportunity to do that now. So if that's you, I'd like to jump on a call with you. Let's hit up each other on a phone hit up each other. It sounds like that, right? Let's talk. 
let's have a chance to just uh, kind of go through some things about what the flip could look like for you in your own life. If you want to talk to me about a coaching program, uh, because I think you'll enjoy it. Faith, legacy, identity, and purpose. I'll break it all down for you. Break it down. Break it down in ways that you could uh, take bite-sized pieces and see if it's really what's best for you. Um, I believe it can make a big difference. So I look forward to talking to you. Please comment on this uh, live if you get a chance, if those of you that are watching it. Uh, for those of you that just happened to check the post above, you can go back to the original post and comment there as well. I'd love to see you. Either place is fine. But eventually, for those of you that are interested in making a difference in your life and moving to the next level, next space, next opportunity, heck, just achieving that number one goal, let's talk. It's possible. All right, y'all. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for being here on a short version of Sunrise Sunday. I'm looking for my picture here. We have, all right, here we go. It's Sunrise Sunday today. I came in a little bit late today. I was uh, at church with my family this morning, virtually. We have church at home, and uh, our church has been broadcasting live until we come back person in person due to the virus. Uh, but uh, we'll be back soon trying to stay safe and not transfer anything that shouldn't be transferred, right? So it's better at home. Anyway, I hope you all are doing very well during this period of time during Corona and know that there's a great opportunity for you to live into everything you're supposed to be and experience a life of abundance. Let's talk soon. God bless you.